everybody. Diamonds by Tita here. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. Um, I have a huge um, bag of Timu, as you can see, that I want to share with you. So welcome. Um, it is July 5th, the day after 4th of July. Um, and if you guys have been following my channel, you know Gracie has a really tough time with fireworks. And let me tell you, last night was probably the worst year that we've had in a long time. I don't think we were able to get to sleep till probably pretty close to two in the morning. Um, so I'm a little bit tired. So if I'm a little low energy, please forgive me. But um, I do want to share this haul with you. Um, I hope you guys had a great 4th of July, um, wherever you're at. Hope you had time, be able to spend time with family and friends. Maybe have some good food. Um, I went to my sister's for a little early barbecue. We had some hamburgers and corn on the cob, and that was really good. But then, of course, I had to get home early um, for Gracie. So let's go ahead and dive right in, okay? Now, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get through today because there is an awful lot. There is an awful, awful, awful lot. So I'm going to show you a couple items really quick that are not, oh, my thing is kind of crooked there. There we go. Uh, my flowers are crooked. So I got, I got this little curry brush for Gracie. I thought it might help in her bath when I bathe her too. And I was also going to try it just to um, see if I can get some of all her fur off because she shed so bad. It just goes like that, and you can just um, brush her. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a try. I can't remember how much this this was. I think it was like I don't know 79 cents or something. It was pretty cheap. So that's one of my non diamond painting items. And then my other item, I've got two jewelry items. This one I found. I can't find the other one just yet. Um, I love the Timu jewelry. And um, this is a moissanite ring. And it talks about the grade of it, talks about all of that. Um, and it is a GRA rated. And the GRA is the Global Gemology Research Academy. Um, so I can register it. Uh, it is silver because I can't I can't wear nickel or anything like that. And I love jewelry. And I tell you what, I wish I would have found Timu. Wish that would have been around years ago for jewelry um, because I love jewelry. I think I inherited that from my grandma. Um, but anyway, I want to show you that. Isn't that beautiful? It's this kind of really light bluish green. It is just so, so pretty. Now I know I've got really, really fat fingers and I'm probably really not the best hand model, but look at that, isn't that pretty? It really looks more blue-green um, in person. It looks a little more clear, but I love this ring. I love the swirl. I love everything about it. And I'll put the price, but I think it was like about $11, something like that. So I love it. And it comes with a little gift box. And it comes with a little cloth. It comes with all of that. So I am super, super duper happy with this one. And let me just put this all back in the, in the package here and we'll move to some diamond painting. I do have one other jewelry item in there and I'm sure I'll find it as I dig down to the bottom of the bag. All right, so again, I don't know this is in no particular order. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one. Um, this is a partial, this one, and I forgot to pull it out when I did all my other partials. And I love the special drills, I really do. They've gotten super popular. Um, people are doing them a lot. Uh, and I really, really, really like them. And of course, this is my little hummingbird. Let me move in a little bit because this is small. This is a little 30 by 30. 
It has um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven colors and special shapes. It does have the standard boat wax and pen. Um, with the specials, though, I really recommend, uh, especially for the bigger um, gems, to use uh, either a multi-placer or to use some tweezers to place them. It's a little bit easier. But I thought this would be pretty for around the holidays because that just reminds me of a poinsettia or poinsettia. However you say that, I don't know. Um, I do show all the drills on the special shapes because they are so, so pretty. And you know, I love hummingbirds. I show a lot of hummingbirds on my channel. Okay, we are gonna show the little crystals first. Got all kinds of colors here. Very pretty. Really, really like them. Look at those, aren't they just gorgeous? That's gonna be just beautiful. Let me just put these back in the bag. It's gonna make it easier for me to try to clean these up a little bit. It takes me a little bit to clean up my mess after I do an unboxing. So let me just put this all over here. Move that one like there. And let's grab another one. Now this one I thought was so pretty. I thought Diamond Painting Bewitched Cat might even like this one too. And wait till you see her. Isn't she beautiful? She is absolutely gorgeous. This one comes with two boats or two kits, I should say. Um, this is a 40 by 70. It only has 24 colors, but it looks like the, not, well, let me get to the drills in a minute. It looks like the drills are gonna have a decent skin tone for her, because sometimes they don't do the best skin tone with portraits. But this one I thought was really, really pretty. Um, we have color blocking. Now, for I've been having questions about what is confetti and what is color blocking. So I just want to talk about it just for a second while I'm here. So color blocking, can you see all, all those eyes? Because there's a, just a boatload of them, right? That is color blocking. That means that you can multi-place. It's just a lot of one color, okay? And then there's color blocking in her face as well. Look at all those Ys. And then I'm gonna kind of move down. There's really not a lot of confetti in here, but let me see if I can show this. Can you see these? We have some Fs and we have some As and Bs and Ls. There's just kind of a, you know, how do I want to say it? Um, just a sprinkling of colors. Or even in here, we have sprinkling of colors where I can't do a lot of line blocking or color blocking. Um, so this one is not very confetti heavy at all. When I get to one that has a lot of confetti, I'll show you that. But I've gotten a lot of questions from beginners on that. And I just wanted to show that. So let me just straighten this one out a little bit. There we go. But she, I'm gonna put her sideways for a second so you can see everything. She's just beautiful. Now, the drills are all in the little zip top bags. Let me see if I can get my Hang on a second here. Let me see if I can... I'm going to put you on pause for just one second. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to put you on pause. I just wanted to put my um, my light on so that you could see it, my flash. So you can see that these are in zip-top baggies. 
and you can see all the gorgeous colors. I'm not going to take them all out, um, but there it's very, very beautiful. I really do like this one a lot. So let me just go ahead and put that one off to the side as well. Oops, I need to put my drills on this. Hang on one second. I did not notice that. I need to put my canvas number on my drills. Oops, there we go. Otherwise, I will get them all mixed up over here. Okay, let's go grab another one. Now, this one is, is kind of an interesting story. Um, this is, I have the same one in um, a 30 by 40. And I've always loved it. Isn't it just, he just gorgeous? He is so, so pretty standard kit and I really wanted him in a bigger size so he is in a 40 by 70 has 35 colors and I think he's going to turn out really pretty um diamond painting bewitched cat I I know she started hers I don't know if she finished it again this was from a long time ago Probably when she and I both first started our channel. Um, and I, like I said, I wanted to do it for a long time. But I did want it in a little bigger size. And I do, I love this. There we go. So I'm going to turn this one sideways too so you can just see the whole thing. And then I'll just bring it so you can see his pretty face. And he, this is going to be really bright. Wait till you see these colors. We have lots and lots and lots of greens. And of course there's some blues and browns and peaches and all that. But look at all of the, the orange and the green. They're just beautiful. Look at those colors. I love it. So he is beautiful too. Definitely a keeper. Oh, did I have any confetti on there? Now let me I'm gonna get a better one for confetti to show you. So hang hang tight on that one. We're gonna find some that has some con more confetti. This one I thought was cute too. It's a little kitty asleep in the bushes. This is a little 40 by 40, 24 colors. And I think this is probably going to have a little bit more confetti in it too. I just want to show you. Can you see up here kind of where the gray stripes are? You know, there's a 7 and an R and a 1 and a B and an E and O's. They're just kind of sprinkled. Just kind of sprinkled. And down through here kind of sprinkled. So confetti is just, think of that. Think of just a sprinkling of different colors. And more than likely, you're going to be single placing them because you're not going to be able to multi place them. Some people love confetti, some people hate confetti. Um, I like a mix. Um, I don't think I'd want a ton of color blocking or a ton of confetti either way. A mix is nice. So I thought he was just a, just really, really cute, sleeping in the bushes there. Now, again, all of these are going to come with this, so I'm not going to necessarily show you. This one does have a couple baggies in it, so there is that. This comes in all in the zip top bags, mostly in shades of green again, and of course we have the whites and the grays. and. That looks like a really, really dark navy. I don't think that's a 310. I think that's a 930, that's uh, 939. 
There is a little bit of 310 in here though. And I need to write the There we go, got that all written in there. Okay, what else we got, huh? Let's see what else we have. I'm just grabbing them. Oh, I love this. I bought the whole set. You know, a lot of people are showing this on their channel. Crafting with Sam, I think, just showed this one. Um, but there's a whole collection. I have one of them. And then I bought the others. I love these cats. Isn't that the most adorable thing ever? Um, it's 20 colors, uh, numbers and letters. Numbers are in numerical order, one through eight, Tita approved. And I've got a really great spot to show you a better thing for confetti. Okay, can you see over here? Kind of over in this area here, there's all kinds of just different symbols. You got sevens and C's and fives and eights and A's and F's. Um, they're just all, all just sprinkled around. That's confetti. All right. Anyway, I got, I got, there's four of these cats in the series and I got all of them because I thought they were fun. I like things that are kind of whimsical and cutesy. Um, I really am not into any um, of the dark things. I don't like the dark arts. Um, I'm just, I guess, more of a cutesy person. So I'm gonna show you the pretty drills on this one too. Again, lots of different colors, pinks and greens and purples and blues. Very, very pretty. So there is that one. And this one actually came by itself. It shipped by itself in this nice little package. Now, I am not... I know you guys are gonna say this is total sacrilege that I even even say this. Um, I am not a huge uh, Disney fan. I do love to go to Disneyland. Never been to Disney World because I grew up right near Disneyland, so I went there a lot when I was a kid. Um, and I do love the Magic Kingdom, but I will tell you, I love the Little Mermaid. I admit it. I love the Little Mermaid. It came out when my daughter was little, the movie, and I probably saw, I couldn't even tell you how many times I saw the movie um, with her. Um, I think I saw it enough where I knew pretty much every line, every song. Um, I love Little Mermaid. Um, and I'm usually not a fan of the any of the evil queens or anything like that. I just don't like, I'm just not, I don't know. They're not my thing. So again, I know that's sacrilege. However, I do like Ursula. Um, see if I can get that straight. There we go. So it brings back really, really good, happy memories um, with my daughter watching this. Um, we had so much fun. Now, even now, even now thinking about it, Under the Sea is popping up into my head, and that song is probably going to be stuck in my head, um, but I just love Ariel and Flounder there. Super cute. Um, here are all the colors. Let me show you that. And this one has 17 colors. These are all in letters. And... Talk about confetti heavy. Here we go. Another great example of confetti. However, those W's, you probably could use a little multi-placer there, but all the other colors, it's all confetti. So you can see this drill field is very nice and clear. 
I'm color blocking here. It's a 30 by 40 again. I love her. Really, really love her. Okay, what is next on the hit parade? See if I can get the rest. I want, I want to see if I can get the rest of um, the little birds. Maybe if I can find it to open it. There we go. Oh, goodness. I know it's right there. There we go. I do. I really like all of these. Oh, isn't that one so cute? Oh my gosh. Love this. I love all of the cats. Um, 20 colors, numbers and letters. Um, numbers are in numerical order, so they're TETA approved. Um, I love the glasses. Love the cat. I'm going to show you the drill field. Ah, it's a lot of confetti there too. There's some color blocking. So now you guys all know what color blocking is and what confetti is. And you'll probably soon figure out which one you like and which one you don't like. Or maybe you like them both. But there seems to be kind of a consensus. You like one or the other. At least that's what I've heard from creators anyway. I don't know if that's true. Um... There we go. So she's just really, really cute. Again, the colors are all gonna be like the others, the purples and the blues. And there we go. There's that one. And see if I can, oh, here's the other one. Not birds, what I said bird, didn't I? The cats because I have a bunch of birds that are like this too, these cutesy things. What the heck? You can tell I am super tired, can't you? But I know, you guys have to give me some grace, okay? I'm human, I flub up, and that is just kind of how it is. We need to give ourselves grace. This one I thought was really cute. Look at the little hair. Look at the cat. Love it. 20 colors again. Same type of drill field. I'll just kind of show that to you again. All the confetti on that. Love it. It has diamonds. Look at the diamonds. Look at the diamonds. Love it. This has been a really good haul. I really don't see any issues with any of these diamond paintings. Yep, I like all of these. Lots of pretty colors. Okay, so those are my three cats. Not birds, cats. I just wanna show them to you real quick. See if I can just do it like that. Aren't they cute? Love them. And I do have the other, I have another one as well. Um, I'm gonna have to find that because it is put away. What else we got? Did I find the other jewelry yet? I know it's in here somewhere. Oh, this one is so cute too. Oh my gosh, I love this one. This is a little skunk. Isn't he so cute? Love the little skunk. Me, I, I know it doesn't look anything like it, but I loved watching um, Looney Tunes when I was a kid. Did you watch Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd and um, Roadrunner and Coyote? 
But there was also Pepe Le Pew. Remember Pepe Le Pew? And I don't know why this little cute guy reminded me of Pepe Le Pew. I know he doesn't look anything like him. Um, but that's kind of what I was thinking. Is that he kind of reminded me of Pepe Le Pew. But again, he's more of a cutesy little animal. I'll show you the drill field while I'm up here. So you can see it. Um, Legend, 19 colors. And these are all in letters. I do, I like all of these. I am so happy with this haul. Because usually with my hauls, I, um, I have something that isn't good. Either it looks like it's going to be pixelated or, um, you know, I, I just don't like it. So I usually end up returning, you know, maybe one or two of things that I don't like. So you can see these are in the zip top bags. Okay, let me see what else I've got. So I, I'm gonna have to run to the store pretty soon. Um, I'm gonna show you the jewelry item and then the rest I'm gonna save for the next time. Um, again, just because I'm kind of on some time constraints this morning. But I wanted to show you some more jewelry. Again, I love their jewelry. I love their earrings. I love their rings. And I'll take these out in a second. Look at these beautiful hearts. Now, these are 925 silver. Or at least that's what they say they are. And when I wear their jewelry, it does not bother my ears. So I think they're 925 silver. Silver. 925 silver. But I love the blue. I thought that would be really pretty for summer. And I'm going to take them out of the bag really quick so you can see them. Let's see if I can put it. Oops. Come on. Lay flat. I'll lay it down this way so you can see it. Really pretty. So that and my beautiful ring. Isn't that just, I just love this ring. I am. I am so happy. Again, it's kind of this greenish, bluish color, but I truly, I, I can't believe it's $11. That's all I gotta say. Um, it is gorgeous. So that is all that I have, guys, for you. Um, so I had that, the, ear the earrings, the ring, um, the little curry brush that's buried underneath all the drills. Um, I'll show you the my cute little skunk. You saw my three little kitties that are adorable. My Ariel, she's adorable. Another little cute cat. My jungle fame. Isn't he just gorgeous? And then I love this one. I don't know, it kind of gives me like like a Hawaii vibe kind of you know I just think she's just so so stunning she's just beautiful and then the last one of course was my little hummingbird so I hope you enjoyed um, this haul uh, if you did please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing um, and drop me an email also hit that notification bell so that you know anytime that I upload a new video um, but really the biggest thing to help support my channel and enable me to keep bringing you the hauls that you want to see is to go ahead and subscribe. I would just so greatly, so greatly appreciate it if you did. Um, okay, go ahead. Take care, everybody. Remember, you're perfect exactly as you are. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And do one thing today that your future self is going to thank you for. Um, take care. Have a great weekend. Um, enjoy your time with family and friends and I will see you on the next one.